Um, welcome students of 2020 to Cardiff School of Education and Social Policy. Pronoun are Croy Suri Cardiff Met. Um, my name is Julia Longville um, and I'm your Dean of School. And I really wanted to take this opportunity to meet you today. And I'm sorry I can't be doing that in person. First of all, just to say hello. And more than that, to congratulate you on gaining a place uh, with us to study for your undergraduate degree. Can I just say that you've chosen very well? Uh, why, why am I saying that? Well, we've recently received the Times Welsh University of the Year Award and our student satisfaction is the highest that it's ever been. What I can assure you is this is going to be an exciting few years where you have the opportunity to forge lifelong friendships and work with fabulous colleagues on this programme. They really are second to none. Um, I'm not going to talk for too long because, you know, I know you want to get on with the exciting things you've already been doing on your programme. And I'm following all of that on Twitter and I've seen the photographs of you uh, working in the forest with some of our colleagues and um, and also in our lecture theatres, um, albeit socially distanced. So uh, welcome to your first year of study. There are a number of really important people you need to engage with uh, during, particularly at this time and throughout the three years that you are with us in the university. First of all, your programme director, Kieran. Um, he is my go to person and he will be your go to person too. In addition, and as important, is your personal tutor. And I know all of you have been allocated a PT and they are the, your first point of contact for all of your needs. I want to assure you that we are all here to help and support you. Don't be afraid to come and talk to us. You've got to help to get help us to get things right for you. And my main message today is to do just what I've said. Please talk. We are here and we are listening. Tell us how you're feeling. Tell us what is working for you, what is difficult and what is challenging. We really want to get this first year right and we need your help to do that. So I've used the word challenge there. It will be challenging. But that's right and proper and you will enjoy that challenge and I'm sure even this week uh, you've learned new things that you haven't done before or didn't know before and that's the beauty of being with us here in the School of Education and Social Policy um, at this wonderful university. I obviously need to mention that this is a very different year for all of us. We're working and studying through a pandemic. You may have heard um, in the press that universities have been closed. Can I just say this is just not true. Uh, we've been working harder than ever over the summer to ensure that we deliver an innovative, challenging and exciting programme for you all. Yes, it will be different, but in many ways it's going to be better than what we have previously offered. We've been preparing things like online teaching, creating fair and effective online assessment, preparing our classrooms and practical spaces so that we can deliver safely in them. And you will have seen some of that in, in operation already this week. And I'm sure, like my colleagues, you would report that you feel safe. We've also been working with our prof professional partners including various different um, placement uh, uh, op opportunities, including schools and other settings, Welsh Government, the Education Workforce Council, to name but a few. These are just examples um, and we're looking at redesigning things like placements and our curriculum in order to meet the learning outcomes for your programme, but most of all to meet your needs. Linked to that, one of the reasons we were awarded the Times uh, Award that I mentioned earlier, the Welsh University of the Year, was our graduate employability. Can I say that is no lucky accident. It is because we work in partnership with employers to ensure that our graduates, and that's you, that will be you in three years time. 
you will be crossing the stage, graduating, celebrating that fact with all of your family and friends. We ensure that you are industry ready, whether you are studying our programmes, uh, you know, wh whatever you want to go on to, whether that's uh, employment or indeed if you want to stay with us and move into uh, a master's level postgraduate program and there are some of you sitting in the room today who will go on to do PhDs. The industries you aspire to work in have also moved online. So when you graduate, when COVID-19 is over and it will be over, the new normal will keep these sets, these, some of these ways of working. Virtual teaching, learning and assessment, living CVs, online meetings for instance and as i'm doing today um and on online footage for you uh, just so that i can get to know you and, and that you know who i am these are all embedded into our programs ensuring that you are ready for the future i am absolutely sure of one thing and i certainly will be doing this what i've learned over the last seven or eight months is that i have to have a better work-life balance and it's really important that you do the same through your degree. So for those of you that are from Wales, you'll know what I'm going to say next. For those of you that have come from outside of Wales, well, Wales is famous for its outdoors. Within half an hour of our Kinkoi campus, you could be in the mountains, you could be by the sea, you could be in the city centre. There is so much to offer. What I would say is, though, please get out into the outdoors and some of you, uh, uh, if not all of you, have experienced um, our forest schools uh, offer this week. Being outdoors, being in nature is hugely important for your well-being, so please look after yourselves. Parts of your programme will be practically based involving interaction with others. And you've again already done that. We've maintained these elements of our programme even within the current social distancing rules. But we need to work together to keep our campuses safe. And that's not just during your academic studies, but that's also while uh, you're on the campus using our facilities or indeed if you're living in halls of residence. Things will be a little different this year, but with your health and well-being in mind, we've made changes to make sure your time at Cardiff Met is safe and enjoyable. We really ask that you play your part and stick to the rules as set out in the social contract. And if you've not seen that, it will be coming your way. So please make sure you social distance and in Wales that's two metres and in your uh, teaching spaces that's two metres. Only gather in maximum of 30 in an outdoor space only mix six indoors so that's five including you and only within your immediate household and most of all be kind to each other remember we are all in this together take responsibility for yourselves and respect those around you we can do this if we work together it is inevitable that staff and students will have highs and lows over the coming months i get them on a weekly basis some of us may have to isolate and that can be really lonely. So my plea to you is let's look out for each other and remember we are here, talk to us. I'm at the end of an email and at the end of this, <clears throat> I'll be asking Kieran um, to give you my email address and please get in touch with me. Finally, our sole aim is to give you the best education and ex ex student experience that we can. And we can only do that with you. Talk to us, talk to your personal tutors, your tutors, programme directors, talk to any one of us online and face to face. This is now your university, it is your school and we are immensely proud to have all of you working with us as one God if met. So I will see you again, I will meet you again, but what I want to say finally is just enjoy these next three, three years, make the most of it. They are will be th three years that some of you will look back on and say they were the best three years of my life. Thanks, Kieran. <laughs>